Are you struggling with your muscle ups? You've tried everything but you just can't seem to get it. Well don't worry guys, I've got a fire tutorial for you guys to follow along to. It's a step by step guide on how you can master your first muscle up. Now if you don't know me, my name's Tayo, I go by the name of Abnormal Beings, I make calisthenics videos and tutorials, so subscribe, smash that like button and share this video with a friend. Alright, before we go about even practicing the muscle up, we must pass a few strength requirements. So obviously you need to be good at pull ups before you even attempt the muscle up. So try aim for around 10 consecutive pull up reps. After that is straight bar dips. So essentially the muscle up is a pull up and a straight bar dip. You want to make sure you're doing around 15 straight bar dips. It's all good being able to do loads of pull ups, but you also want to be able to pull up explosively. That's where you're going to get your power from to explode over and on top of the bar. So technique wise, you want to open up your body position. You want to press down to initiate the pull. You're going to use that momentum to propel yourself all the way up. Once again, imagine your body's a pendulum. When your body's furthest away from the bar, that's when you initiate the pull. If you hadn't noticed already, when we perform the muscle up, we actually pull away from the bar. So we're pulling more with straight arms, straighter arms. So you want to do scapular pull ups. This is going to help strengthen your straight arm strength. So you want to aim for around eight consecutive reps. That's how you know you've got good scapular strength. And that's what's going to help you with your pulling strength overall to achieve the muscle up. Quite a few people struggle to retract and depress their scapula. So another great way to train your scapular strength and to improve it is to do straight arm pull downs. So you can just use a resistant band with handles. I'll leave the link in the description below for you to purchase. They're an amazing tool to activate your lats, your rhomboids, your traps, all those muscles needed to retract and depress the scapula. The last and final strength requirement for the muscle up are negative muscle ups. Now if you can do everything that I've just shown you then you definitely have enough strength for the muscle up, it's just more about the technique that you need to execute. So three controlled reps on the negative muscle up is the goal. Again on that transition you don't want to drop too fast, nice slow controlled. Next up, really important, technique wise for the muscle up, hand placement is so important. You don't want your hands to be too under the bar, you want your hands to be over it. Okay, so slightly over it, you can put your thumbs over. I personally like them thumbs under. And again, just perform and execute the muscle up. Now, when you perform your first muscle up, you don't want to start from a complete dead hang. You want to be in an active position. So again, scapula is retracted, ready to pull. So an example of this with uh, momentum, that's how it should look when you come up and explode up. Now, our first muscle ups, we're going to use momentum, we're going to use our feet and knees to drive and propel ourselves up and over the bar. So when you apply all of these tips, your muscle ups should look like something like this. I call these swing ups, so very close to muscle ups. Again, you're using that momentum, using your legs and knees to propel yourself all the way up. Now when you practice your muscle ups, obviously they're not going to be as clean, they're going to look a bit grindy, but that's normal. Over time when you get stronger, they'll get easier. So as you can see here, you can see now how it progresses into a muscle up. Once more in slow-mo, open up that body position, use those knees to drive all the way up and over the bar. You almost go into an L-sit position before you get into that muscle up. So again, pull away from the bar and explode over. I also initiate the pull with slightly bent arms just to create tension so we're not pulling from a complete dead hang. So again, as you can see from a side angle, we're pulling away and over the bar, almost like in a C position. So if you can create that motion, you'll get the muscle up. As you can see here, if you try and go up in a straight line, it's much harder to get your chest and head over the bar. Again, this was kind of like a C position, but it was a lot grindier. If you try and pull yourself directly up, it's just not going to happen. Again, as you gain strength with the muscle up, your technique and form will be a lot cleaner and you'll be able to pull from dead hang into a muscle up. So again, it just takes some time to build that strength. So that's basically the technique for the muscle up. There's not a lot to it, honestly, it's just about practice. Now, a lot of people also struggle with the transition of the muscle up. If you're one of those people, just wrap a t-shirt around the bar, it just allows for a smoother transition, as you can see in the clip. Last but not least, you can also use bands to perform the muscle up. Again, this builds confidence. However, I don't like using them to actually learn the muscle up because again, it assists you with that pull and you need that pulling strength for the muscle up. So maybe use them just for confidence boost. So that was a tutorial on how to actually perform the muscle up, but how do you actually train for it? Well, this is a full workout program for you guys to follow along to. Try this out for two, three weeks, maybe even a month. You're gonna start off with negative muscle ups. Again, nice, low controlled. Focus on that transition. You don't wanna go down too fast. 
Next up, you've got band and muscle ups. Again, three sets, five to eight reps. So pick a band which you feel you can do five to eight reps on. Uh, you just have to trial and error that because um, I wouldn't know, obviously. Next up, jumping muscle ups. You want to find a bar that's around a shoulder or head height. Again, use your legs to jump and perform the muscle up. Moving on to explosive pull ups. Again, with these, you maybe want to perform them one at a time. So after each rep, take a few seconds rest. It's all about power with this one. So I want you to pull as high as you can. Try to reach your chest if you can, even waist. Okay, as high as you can. Pull as high as you can on these. Again, technique wise on these ones, don't forget to pull away from the bar, open up your body position and use your legs. Scapular pull ups up next. Again, retract and depress that scapula. So you're going to start off from a passive hang into an active hang. Again, try and hold in the active hang position for a second or two just to feel that squeeze in that scapula. Next up, you've got straight arm pull downs. You've got 20 reps. I know it's, it's quite a lot of reps, but the whole idea is you want to get used to activating those muscles. So you need to do loads of reps because you want to try and activate them as much as you can. You want to get used to working those muscles. We want to wake them up, baby. Let's wake them up. And last but not least, we're going to finish off with Australian pull-ups. One final set of Australian pull-ups. Well, guys, that was the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry for the late upload. I was on holiday. I was in LA with a few friends. As you can see, I was living it up, just enjoying the sun, the pool, doing a few Cali freestyle sets. You know how it is. But yeah, make sure you comment, like, share, and most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram also at abnormal underscore beings. It's been your boy Tao from Abnormal Beings. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll catch you next week with another one. Peace.